Hello, this is Sophie Lawson from sophielawson.com and this is another click look video where we clearly look at various art books and magazines and we've got the 2023 Imagine Effects magazines because yesterday this one popped through my letterbox and it should hopefully be issue number 232 for December 2023 so let's go and have a look at this one so not only, not only did that one come through the door yesterday but this one did as well and this is the latest character design quarterly magazine so they both pop through my door at the same time I'm going to do this one first the Imagine FX magazine and then tomorrow I'll do this one which I think is issue number 26 for the character design quarterly magazine now I'll be with little Dennis yeah I'm very excited for that but I'm also really excited for this one so we're, we're almost at the end of the 2023 Imagine FX magazines now I'll put links and everything in the description for all of these but this was the last one which was issue number 231 what a cool cover very this year has been really cool for the covers but my two favourite covers so far this year are these two I love these so let's have a look at this one and see if if it's going to be as beautiful as, as those also they've gone back to the old I think they've gone back to the old envelopes so a little bet no they haven't little Betty Betty's going to get us in what colour do you reckon it is? oh that's the that's, oh what? I thought that was an advert I think this might be a Procreate special or something the cover is oh that's a bit boring for me that one I think that's my least exciting cover of the year it's very cool because it's it's going to be all about procreate by the looks of things but I don't know I don't I'm not really keen on that cover I like covers where it's about the character so the cover isn't my favourite but I absolutely look you can just see the little ha, see that bothers me that does that you can see that I'm going to have to move the camera a little bit yay can't see it now look at this look boing <laughs> Bet he's going to get us in. Plop. We've got a little editor, Rob. I hope this is really a. Oh, I thought that said Jake Parker then. Can you hear Chloe outside? She's crying. She wants to come in. The little kitty. I was going to say, I hope this is a proper Procreate special. I'm not sure. I like the look of some of the art in here. Looks very exciting. So what do I need? Oh yeah, look the last one of the oh what next the next issue look Ross Tran, one of my favourites, and it's a character. Hopefully it's going to be a character special, a character masterclass with Ross Tran. If if Ross Tran is on the cover, if that might actually be able to beat um, the lowish cover, because everything Ross Tran does I love. Really, 24th of October that's coming out, so it's not very long. Yeah, <laughs> yay! I like that one. What I do on these is I look at them, I just go through the magazine and have a look at it. FX Pose section, beautiful these are. I don't know what it is about these fish. I love these fish, these like I call them Japanese fish. environments I've never been I don't get excited by well I do get I don't get excited by environments like I do with characters but I think the environments are very important if you like playing a video game or something I like the look at this one look that's a nice style Photoshop that is it almost looks um traditional oh look at these Francesco, I love this one, look at that, look. See, I'm going to look into this artist, Francesco. I love that. 
that would have been if that was on the cover I'm just gonna let the um, cat in. Huh. Hello. Do you wanna go on the um wanna go on the camera? Huh. Chloe Cool, isn't it? She's actually getting quite big now, Chloe. And we're always playing. So she's like um scratching my hands all the time. Yeah. <laughs> it's quite cool. But what I've been doing is I've been wrestling with her. Like throwing her around. The rookies. How to exhibit at an art convention. That's cool. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? Again, it remind this reminds me of Lowish. Because when whenever you went to whenever I went to Comic Con, I went a couple years and Lowish had this massive she always had like the, the biggest booth. It was really cool. Like she her booth really stood out. That'd be quite interesting to, to look into that would. The day in the life of Craig Elliott. Giving the artists this is procreate, is it? Oh, look, they put animations into Procreate. If you haven't been keeping up with it. Procreate Dreams is an upcoming standalone animation app for iPad. Oh, that's quite interesting. But again, I prefer I prefer static art. I never really got into those filters on, like, Instagram or something, where things move. I like static art. This would be very interesting to have a look into, though. The letters look <laughs> field of force. Spirit shines at light box. That's a um well I've, I think it actually Jake Parker went to um wasn't it light box that Jake Parker was gonna do a um he was gonna do a speech out or something. I'm sure that hey Bobby Chowlett Remember that year when Jake Parker was involved in the um, plagiarism thing? I'm not sure, but I'm sure they did. <laughs> I'm not sure, but I'm sure they. Yeah, he looked lowish. I know. I knew that was lowish. I'm sure they actually didn't let him do his um, speech or something because of that, which I think's out, out of order. How cool is that wall there? Look. Yay! Jake Posh's sketchbook, and it's full of characters. This one's very much like Bobby, Bobby Chow as well. I like this one. I use my sketches for two things: exercising my brain and preparing, for, preparing for my next project. <laughs> Going into the workshops now. Look, Clip Studio Paint. Interesting. These, these one, this one feels a bit. Well, I was going to say stiff, but it's a robot. I suppose. But like these bits here, like these little jet. There's no for me. There's not these these like um gestury bits are a little bit stiff. There's not enough gesture in those poses for me. That's what I'm thinking. But I love the character. Really cool character. What's this look? Composing characters. Oh, I wish it wasn't on. Look, it's like you can't really see it properly. That's Tom Booth, that is. I like this one. Develop lighting for characters. Shirley Tan. I like the feel of these shapes. They're like, um, makes me think of marshmallows. Yay. <laughs> Take it 
turtles. Very detailed. Look, almost looks like a monster there. Creatures. Like these little feet. See what's happening here is you've got a a monster which is using um, like real life, almost look like horses' feet. So that's making them look believable. That's what I'm thinking. He's got a little outfit on as well. Huh. I quite like that character. Look, 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 you can't see anything there. It's all blended together and then you can just see a little bit there. That's quite good. I like that. And I like the fact that you can't see the character here. All you can see is the shadow. I like that one. That's cool that is. Yay! Nicholas Lick. Clear and interesting characters. <laughs> I'm sure I've seen this um, these before in Character Design Quarterly magazine. Yeah, I have. Cool, that is. Love that character. That's traditional, that is. Yay! Chris Hong. I've actually got Chris Hong's um, one of her art books. She did an art book on Kickstarter. It was my second only ever Kickstarter. My first one was Yumi Art. I love Chris Hong. I found Chris Hong in an issue of the Graphite magazine. I fell in love with her straight away. Look, don't you think traditional just looks a lot more playful? The way you're getting in there, getting dirty with it. It's much more fun, isn't it? Oh, that character isn't really properly... I wanted to see a full page of that one. First... Boing! That was it, another one. That was a very weird issue, that one. Because the cover... It's probably my least favourite cover of the year, I think. But there's loads of stuff in here I want to read. And have a look into. Like, lots of, like, interesting articles to read. Yeah, it's quite weird, because normally I'm all about the art. Like, I want to look at the artwork, but this one I actually want to read the articles. Which is quite interesting. So I really hope you enjoyed that. It was a look at issue number 232 of the Imagine FX magazine for December 2023. And I cannot wait for next the next one because that's going to be Ross Tran. So I hope you enjoyed that and I shall see you later for another one. And the next one is going to be this one tomorrow. Character Design Quarterly magazine with little Dennis. I hope you come back for that and I'll see you later for another one.